that is the weirdest. What in the f fuck my duck? What the heck? Hello, friends and family. My name is Skylint, and welcome to Curiosity, the emotion, the game. Uh, this is Sable, which is this explorative style title that focuses on a lot of dialogue, heavy writing emphasis, and reading. And if you're somebody who enjoys books and poetry almost to an extent, I, I think that this game has those elements, at least with the dialogue, and it's dripping and gripping with emotion. And there is definitely a sincerity to the slowness of how you're supposed to explore the exploration of this world. Now, I am quickly going to be giving my first look of this game for the Steam, like, Next Fest, but I think that you guys should actually play it for yourself for sure. Um, and definitely when this game comes out, should I do a full Let's Play? Because I'm kind of vibing. I'll just spoil that right now, but you guys want to see what I'm talking about that's coming soon. But I do just want to plug my work that I do. If you want your indie game to be published at a website, you need trailers or just literally help putting it on Steam, I'll do that for you. I provide those services as well. I want to share these experiences with you guys. Let's make some memories. But you want to see Sable. You want to see if it's worth checking out together. Let's do that. So here's my first look. So here we are. This is Sable. Looks like these are the people. They wear masks. These people wear masks, which might make sense in a desert. Filter the dust and stuff. I can feel Jadis smiling behind her mask. Just as I know she can feel the teeth bearing a little grimace behind mine. I'm nervous, and she's softly, sweetly amused. In her eyes, I probably have very little to worry about. You know, you have nothing to worry about, don't you, Sable? And yet, I shrug, but any attempts to act casual are fruitless. The movement is jerky, and I don't think I've ever been more aware of my little shoulders. She laughs. I mean it. But I do know how you are. You're going to be nervous until you've started. And then you'll act like you've been doing it your whole life. Remember the first time you rode a bike? You wouldn't even let me put you on the seat. You were so afraid. Your hands were like little claws, gripping into me. I feel the memory in my fingers. Wait, this writing is kind of good. This is kind of good writing. But then I promised you it was going to be alright. I told you how much I had loved riding my bike as a young woman, and how wonderful the wind felt through fabric. Suddenly there you were. You sat down. You leaned forward and put those little grasping claws on the handles, and you were off. And I remember thinking, just watching you tear over the sand. Look at her. She can do whatever she wants. Johnny reaches out and places a hand on the edge of my mask. You can, Sable. I take a breath. Okay, I think I'm ready. I thank Jotty for the encouragement. And tell her with a nod that I think I'm ready. I know you are. So let's get you started. You'll need to talk to Halal and Driss. Driss should already have made the arrangements for your bike. And Halal will share you something. Let's just say, useful as it is fun. Hmm? I think I might suspect what Jotty's saying, but I stay quiet. After that, I suppose we'll see you off. Yep. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this going. But I kind of do want to take my time and read this. I don't know. I like the way the words spill over my lips. Okay, anyways. I tell her that's why I'm so eager to make it. To choose well and quickly so that I don't go too far down the wrong path. Whatever you decide, you do so with my blessing. So don't try using me as an excuse Let's come home early, yeah? She knows me. Now go speak with Halal. I'll be there to see you off. And speak to Driss, as well. I've told him to arrange your bike with Cizo, but you know how he is. I have something to give you. A compass to help you on your journey. It's the same one I used on my gliding. An artifact, you might say. I take the device in my palm. If it's naturally there. Perfectly. Weighted and crafted. Each component slides together with incredible, satisfying precision. Thank you. Go on. Go on. It's nearly time. Nice. So this is a ceremony. And we use the compass to guide our way. And then we should go talk to some other people. 
so we can actually start on our gliding. Now from here, I will be expediting the dialogue, but I think as we can see, it's really good. Also, I really like the font they used. Yeah. I guess it's kind of interesting though, they use the inner dialogue font, um, Serif, and then Sans Serif for other people. So, what is this? Thank you, I got a rock. I got a fuzzy rock. Now, if you guys can't speed read, I guess you can pause it. Yep, take it to the temples, all that good stuff. We got the Whispering Stones. Oh, there's going to be quests and things to do. Neat. A hut. Oh, wow, we could actually climb on anything. If we talk to him again... Oh, and it looks like these people have advanced technology. This guy has prosthetics. All right, going to go to the temple. When you're inside of buildings or near buildings, the camera does change a little bit, I think. No, just in general, the camera flows very strangely. It's very weird. It's very hard to move around. All right, use the compass. Activate the gliding stone at the altar. Let's go ahead and do that. Fall damage? No fall damage. It says the altar, so we can go this way. I wonder what's up there, though. But it says go this way. To a temple. But let's see what else we got. She did say to talk to this guy. What's this guy got going on? Though I told myself not to be too eager, it's all I can do to not race up the driss. He's the camp manager and he does stuff and things. Yeah, okay. I was told you have something special for me, yep. Something special? <laughs> the bike. Your bike, yes. The gliding. I don't think he wants me to go on the gliding. It must be a dangerous. A tutorial? Let's do the tutorial. Yeah. So instead of worrying about your bike, try that little poopy. Poopy, uh. Bike. Okay. I'm supposed to take this little poopster. Don't lose your bike. Don't lose it. Accelerate. Here we go, we move around, chug a chug, chug a chug a chug chug. And then uh I think it wanted me to go through this little thing. We can drift. Oh, okay. That was pretty weird. Boom. Oh. That activated it, but anyways. Okay, I think we're ready to really start the game. Colors of pastelish? Kind of, in the end, just the game's pretty stylish. Pretty cool. Kind of feeling it. Reeling in it. Alright. Go back up. Talk to this guy. Let's go ahead and get off. Alright. Turn to Driss. What was he doing? What do you mean, fires? You notice the... F if you were on fire. Yeah. I, duh. Is this bike dangerous? Well... Uh, am I not getting a bike? Well, you're getting the use of the sand gutter. That's You can borrow it and run little errands. I'm on my own bike. Slicing sands. This might be a game where it's mostly about talking with people. Uh, if so, that's actually totally fine. Playing a game that's a book is absolutely fine. So here we go. Let's see. What is, um... How do I change my... My questing? I think he wants me to talk to Halal again. Maybe? Whoa, it creates a shadow for even... Okay, that's pretty weird, but... And then if I do this, it shows... Okay, that shows where the thing is. Okay. So, what do I... What do I gotta do? Maybe I should have read... <laughs> what I should have read. Oh, here we go. The ceremony. I need a complete task for Halal and Driss. So yeah, it is a questing thing. Activate the, the gliding stone at the altar. Let's activate this one. So we can see where to go for that. So yeah, I guess we're just going to do quests around town, which is probably the tutorial. And then the real game is going to be adventuring out in the world. Maybe seeing... Oh, the, the gliding might be going across the desert, but there's probably going to be nomadic people. There's probably going to be other villages. And it's just sort of like a cultural education for this character to learn about the world and then come back and then um, tell people about it. But I think in between that, they're likely, you know, since this is a video game... There likely will be some sort of, like, mystery uh, with the ruins, the old technology. 
and um, more to uncover, as well as maybe some sort of plot. Um, but even if there isn't, even if it is just exploration, talking with people and learning about a fictional society, universe, world, that's cool to me. Activate the something at the something. I think we're going to be doing some parkour, maybe. I don't think this is a door. This is some ruins. So it looks like it wants us to go up this mountain. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's have some fun. Um, I don't know if we're going to be able to take this just right up the mountain, but let's see what we can what we can do with this. Can you just climb mountains? Not exactly, maybe. That floating thing does seem pretty cool, though. Um, alright. Let's see. No, yeah, we're gonna have to... Oh, yeah, I mean, I think we could take this up there. I don't think we really meant to, but... Let's just... Yeah, let's just launch it up there. Okay, we're not going to. Okay, let's get off. Alright, let's jump. Let's run, jump, and climb, and... See what's up here. So this reminds me a lot of certain, um, like, Breath of the Wild style exploration, as well as Shadow of the... Mainly Shadow of the Colossus. Someone's like, let's do Shadow of the Colossus if it was, like, sweet and sincere with a story. I think so. Alright, how do we get up this? It seemed clearly like I'm supposed to get up this. Um, or is this... Oh, wait, or maybe... Because I can't just climb it normally. Oh, wait, what is the soundtrack? Do you guys hear this? Music? And then run and jump? There it is. Oh, I let go. <laughs> I do like it. Oh, day-night cycle. It's so cute, so painterly. It's hard to say it's, it's painterly exactly, but... Microsoft painterly, I guess. Okay, run, jump. Climb. And there we go. I do like it. I, I don't know. I love platforming. Uh, Guild Wars 2, the MMO. Um, Mario. What does that sound? The wind? Wow, that actually sounded like wind? That's pretty crazy. Who'd have thunk it? Um, yeah, Mario. Just played uh, Mario 64 for the first time somewhat recently this year. So I do like platform. Oh, what is this? What is this little man? Hello, little man. Hello, friend. You're so adorable. A chum egg. Uh, this is straight Breath of the Wild. Perfectly round and hard as a rock. These eggs seem to float with how light they are. There must be a good place to put these. So, you go around, solve puzzles, probably. Find secret, literal Easter eggs, you know? And then, uh, probably use them to unlock, basically, the mysteries of the world. Which, no, absolutely, that's a way better reward, I think, than what Breath of the Wild did. It got really tedious with Breath of the Wild, let's be honest. Alright, so we're in this alt- The lighting is crazy in this game. And we're gonna keep going in this direction. Everything f is falling. Okay. Life just got hard for us. But let's keep it coming. Uh, okay. Whoa. Oh, okay. I was kind of spooked. I don't know if there's gonna be monsters. It would be kind of cool. Sandworms. Things like that, but... Even if it is entirely desolate, I think there is uh, a unique experience in that. Uh, ominous. 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 I like the little dust particles. Okay. The stone thrums like the beat of a heart as I approach the altar. Am I afraid? Exhilarated? Or maybe it feels right. I'm ready for Ohana to know me. I'm ready to know myself. Maybe this is their deity? I feel her curiosity in this sacred place. I know I'm in her sight. Yeah. This culture must worship some sort of deity. It would be interesting if the deity was actually, like, evil. Or maybe it's just like an ancient civilization's AI. Or maybe it is magical. I don't know. There's mysteries to be uncovered. For sure. So it looks like um, we're going to have these stones. There's going to be eggs. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What the? What is happening? Uh, I was surrounded in a red sphere. 
globe of pulsing power. And then I passed out. And then, yeah, we're lifted into somewhere. What is happening? Oh, and now we have to get back by through parkour? <laughs> Jumping? I wonder what that was about. Well, we got our shiny rock back. So, yep. Okay, okay. Yeah, the character, character is like, what just happened? Okay. Show halal. Okay, so the stone got activated. I can glide in midair now? Oh, so I, I got like an actual freaking superpower. Um, Breath of the Wild, except instead of having a literal glider, I have a power, super power sphere. Power sphere, magical. Okay. So there it is. Now there is uh, a little bit of a stuttering, a little bit of a, a slowness, sluggishness to the controls, especially the camera, but uh, um, just keep that in mind when you're playing this game. But in a way it does make it look more smooth and cinematic, but uh, just saying, it's one of those things. A lot of indie devs do stuff like that. Sometimes a game is more of an experience than as something that's more of like a mechanical endeavor to be challenged. As long as the parkour isn't too, you know, intense and it's more of a puzzle thing. So we did that. That is the weirdest. What in the f fuck, my duck? What the heck? Okay, that's that is pretty he he weird. Anyways, okay, and there's our bike. Wow, I really do like the art of the game. I mean, just for the sake of it being like nothing else ever, you know? Anyways, I'm glad you guys are hanging out with me for this first impression. Alright, so let's go back. Alright, we gotta go back and talk to Halal, so... In the end, I think I'm definitely in the mood for more games like this. I've actually played a few of these indie games, especially on itch.io, that are just like exploration games. But let me know if, if you guys know any other titles that are similar to this, about just kind of wandering around. Maybe trying to get lost, finding easter eggs, or talking to people. I think that uh, is something that I could really use in my life. You know, some late night and chill games, basically. And if you guys want a list video of late night and chill games, I'll definitely do that. No problem. <laughs> Alright, so, there's that. And now I get to show everyone that I've got a superpower, because I'm freaking awesome. Yeah. Okay, who is this little bean man? Hello, little bean. Uh, I'll talk to you later, I guess. Jotty greets me warmly. Hello, little glider. It's so strange getting called that. <laughs> That's big glider to you. What was your gliding like? I asked Jotty about her gliding. Tell you what, I'll tell you when you get back. Oh, okay, okay. But I did meet some crystal farmers once. <laughs> crystal farmers? What? Ooh, what is this thing? The post box. Unread messages. Have a good day. Okay. No, no. Okay. That's it. So now, let's see. I gotta talk to Halal in here. Tip tap. Hey, friend. When I return to Halal, he, it's clear. They know what I've just experienced. They're excited on my behalf. In a way that makes me wish them... Miss them. Sorry. Before they even left. Yep, yep, yep. It's exciting. It's it's amazing. I'm so I'm so happy. I think this game is is a game that I really want to dig into. I have been getting into reading a lot more lately. I just read The Boy, The Mole, The Fox and the Horse and it made me ugly cry. It was a really great book. Oh wait, hold on. That's still glowing. I have a feeling that if you go underneath all of them, um it's like a little collectathon. Actually, a lot of this game is probably very collectathon. Cizo has a task for me. Oh, whoa, 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 I didn't mean to climb no walls. Doop -do -doop. And then am I talking to her again? Nope. Oh wait, who's this guy? So it looks like there's a bunch of different people and they just... They're all... As she looks out across the landscape, Zeki's shoulders sag a little. I wonder what she's thinking about. And then, uh, what are you looking at? Something on your mind? 
Oh, okay. Wow, is this demo kind of, like, deep? This demo might be the entire first section. I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm very into it, though. Um, and it wants me to go... Wait, what? Oh, up upstairs, probably. So let's go ahead and run. Oh, yeah. Oh, whoa, yeah. No, the mouse... The mouse is pretty strange. There we go. It's more like the mouse is almost simulating a controller input or something. Just sluggish. Okay, coming up, coming up. Okay. This could have been just like a, a Ghibli film or something. Wait, why is that all red over there? Does that mean it's an activated shrine? Hello? Saizo is an outclanner to the Ibexi, but I've known her for nearly as long as I can recall. I think of her more as a kind of distant relation than any sort of outsider. Machinists, I'm told, are given their posts, and by their training and their code, must go to where they are needed. But Sizo has been among us so long that it's easy to forget. It's an assignment first and foremost. But as far as any of us are concerned, she's one of us. I think there's a perception among the other clans that Ibexi are quite insular, or that our designation of Ibexi versus outclanners suggests some nervous othering of those who are unlike us. But in practice, such things are more of a result of our nomadic nature. We seek to know who will travel with us, and who we must leave behind. But all are welcome to join. And I'm always pleased that Cizo did. Sable, how do you do, clan child? So, okay, uh, now that I'm getting a bike, the, the demo likely very much ends when we actually get the bike, and then we go into the greater world. Or we won't, because it's a demo. But this is, wow, this is a game that I really want to, that I want to read. Oh man, this would make a really good picture book. And by the way, those are my favorite books. So yeah, if you're somebody who loves reading books, just loves reading in general stories, I think that as an experience and as a story, this game is probably going to be one of those that's worth it. In fact, do you guys want a list video on best games to read? Or best games for people who love books? You know, stuff like Skyrim, right? Though I would probably argue Oblivion, maybe? So this seems pretty cool. Got my navigator, uh, which lets me place markers and things. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna X. I'm gonna escape. Okay, uh, backspace. Very weird key bindings. Oh, it's telling us to use, to actually use the thing. Still need to find a control panel, atomic power supply, and all this other stuff and things, and there we go. But, yeah. The, this is a thick this is a thick demo what is this oh this might be one of the things I need oh this is just a random thing showing us that we can open up stuff I wanted to kind of jump over here can I reach over here what happens if I go over here I mean this is pretty cool everyone has like the weirdest coolest masks though the cartographer okay so they make maps Saw so you looking longingly at my great balloon. Yeah. It's bigger than I thought. Yeah. Okay. I would love to see a map. Uh -huh. Okay. And if you guys aren't speed reading, I don't know, a little silly. Learn, learn about the map. Get the maps, do the thing. So a lot of talking, a lot of dialogue. But this looks like a game that I kind of want you guys to experience for yourself. But if you guys do want a full Let's Play of Sable then please let me know. But so far, I'm pretty intrigued. And I would like to maybe do a little bit more with this. Uh, I don't know how to narrate or anything, but yeah. Let me know what you guys think and feel about this game or this style of game. But overall, I am interested. But again, this is just the beginning and also the demo. And there's even still more to the demo. No, a lot of this is going to be traveling. And it looks like a lot more parkour and jumping puzzles. And yeah, mostly it's going to be riding the bike. But... I think we got a good taste of what the game really has to offer, which is actually a lot of dialogue. Even if some of, of the mechanics are a little clumsy because this is an indie game. But, man, just look at this. This is pretty interesting, I think. So, yeah, much love, friends and family. And I'll see you in the next one.